What's going on, everybody? RJ Ochoa here from SB Nation's bloggingtheboys.com. Hope all is well wherever you are. We hope you're happy, safe, healthy, and that you are pumped for round five of the 2021 NFL Draft. Our round four coverage concluded just a little bit ago. This is our live stream for the fifth round. We will have another stream for the sixth round and another for the seventh round and then another for all undrafted free agent trackings as we are going to do for you as we always do at bloggingtheboys.com. If you're new around here, hey, subscribe to the Blog and the Boys YouTube channel. We pump out a lot of stuff because we know that you need Dallas Cowboys discussion 24-7, 365. It is literally our job to talk about America's team and to make sure that you are caught up on all things with regards to the Dallas Cowboys. Ever up joining us, what's going on? Hope all is well with you. Uh, let's discuss where things currently stand with the Dallas Cowboys on the outset of the fifth round. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys had two picks in the fourth round and used them on a linebacker and an offensive tackle. Got day three started with Jabril Cox, an incredible value. There's no doubt about that. Uh, perhaps their best value selection so far in the draft, the 100 138th overall selection is the one uh, that has resulted in the most consternation uh, and the most discourse among Cowboys fans. The offensive tackle, Josh Ball, who had, um, you know, some domestic violence issues during his time at Florida State. Dre uh, bringing the bad news on early with regards to the remaining draft prospects. Sean Wade just went to the Baltimore Ravens. Um, that is not ideal. Uh, certainly the Dallas Cowboys, if we take a look at things, if you're joining us trickling in, where do you want them to go in the fifth round? The Cowboys only have one pick. Right now, the pick that is on the television broadcast is the 161st overall selection. Um, the Cowboys will be on the clock at 179 overall, so we have a little bit of time um, to kind of compartmentalize. Kaplan saying on knowing that the Baltimore Ravens always draft well. Yes, they do. The Buffalo Bills have taken, uh, let's see here. We Actually, the TV broadcast might be super far behind. Uh, let's get caught up. Let's get caught up here. Um, by the way, seeing now that Kyle Yeoman said on the Cowboys broadcast that he's never seen Billy Madison. Holy crap, Kyle, get it together. Uh, Kaplan Sano says wide receiver is a possibility. Um, the Cowboys took an offensive player for the first time a moment ago uh, in Josh Ball. They still have not drafted a safety, uh, which is certainly something that I think we all want to see. Um Safety is still a need, and just looking at what's left here, and anybody who's watching with us live, please help me out in terms of what's up. I believe Jamar Johnson. Uh, I ran out, admittedly, and got a Diet Coke in the break, uh, which I have here that I will nurse with me. But Jamar is still on the board. Um, is that correct? Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Um, Double-checking, double-checking. Um, anybody let us know. But, um, okay, the Jets have traded pick, 170, or, or pick 175, um, to the Kansas City Chiefs, it looks like. Um, and uh, the Chiefs pick is now in. Uh, so, okay, thank you, Caleb. He's there still. Jamar Johnson is, that's, I think, where we all want the Cowboys to go here in the fifth round. They have yet, again, well, actually, let's put this back up here. Um, they have yet to address safety. The Cowboys, positionally, if we're talking about just football positions for a moment, uh, they have really, I think, attacked um attack the positions where they really needed help, right? They've taken two linebackers. They've taken, they've taken two corners. They did take a defensive tackle, although not one that everybody wanted. Tommy Tokiai went earlier today, which was a big bummer. Um, they have an O defensive end in Chauncey Golston. I maintain that that was a bit of a weird pick, uh, but nonetheless, they do have a new end. Um, so all that being said, uh, let, let, let's make sure here. Um, yeah, Baltimore Ravens taking Sean Wade, as we talked about a moment ago. So safety, really the only spot that the Cowboys haven't addressed so far. Um, Weedham Boys on YouTube says, let's get Earl Thomas on this squad. I don't think so. Joe Tranchina says, what's up, Cowboys Nation? Watching from Italy. How goes it, Joe? What part of Italy? Let us know. Uh, Joe's a longtime viewer. Uh, Javier says, Jamar Johnson is a steal. The Indiana safety is still hovering out there. And, you know, th this is a round of... Um, We'll call it redemption, but it's hard to really bounce back from the pick that the Cowboys made for obvious reasons uh, there at the end of the fourth round. Uh, but Jabril Cox was kind of that, right? We talked about the Jabril Cox pick a lot, you know, certainly with our guests that joined us and Bobby Belt. By the way, we will have guests for every single Dallas Cowboys draft pick. We are in the fifth round now. Cole Patterson, uh, one third of the talk on the draft crew, will join us after the pick is made at 179 overall to discuss it. Joe says he's in Sicily, by the way, right on. Um, so, uh, the Jabril Cox pick, something um, that we really, really, really were very excited about. 
without question the biggest value that the Cowboys have gotten so far in the draft. Um, and I think maybe somebody, I think people are really excited about Micah Parsons and what he obviously offers um, to this defense. And I think Jabril Cox is maybe second in terms of tiers of excitement. Uh, Jabril Cox clearly excited in his own way to be a member of the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys did release the secret audio from their conversation with Jabril Cox to let him know that he is joining America's team. Let's take a listen to that courtesy of DallasCowboys.com. Jabril Jerry Jones with the Cowboys. Hey, how you doing? Hey, man, I'm doing fine, and I'm excited, really, to have you on the phone because we're fixing to turn your card in and pick you to uh, uh, come join us on the team. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Well, we're excited to uh, uh, watch you play and uh, excited about your ability to run with those receivers and that's the way this game's evolving today and run with those tight ends. And so uh, uh, really proud for you and uh, proud to have you on the Dallas Cowboys. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. You, you bet. You bet. Now, listen, I'm going to hand the phone. Our coach, Mike McCarthy's right here by me, and he wants to welcome you here, too. Hey, Jabril, Mike McCarthy. Hey, congratulations. Hey, Coach. I'll tell you what, you're coming to a great place, and uh, I can't tell you how excited we are to, to have this opportunity to bring you here. So, can't, can't wait to be there. Are you home with family, or where, where are you right now? Yeah, I'm with, I'm with, I'm with my whole family. Nice. With my whole family. Well, congratulations, and, and share this great moment with them, and uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate right, it. Man. Very cool. I know we're all excited about Jabril Cox. I do want to address something. Logan Sparks noted this. I saw a tweet about this. Uh, apparently, I guess CBS's uh, broadcast um, or their digital broadcast noted that um, the Cowboys had picked 156. Um, that is not the case. Like I said, I saw a tweet, so I just want to establish what's going on here. These are the Cowboys' remaining picks. Uh, they're sitting at 179 or will be sitting at 179 soon enough. Uh, they have the 192nd overall pick. That's their first pick in the sixth round. They have the 227th overall pick. That's their second pick in the sixth round. And they obviously have the 238th overall pick to end things in round number seven before the race for undrafted free agents begins. Pick 156 is technically the Cowboys' original fifth-round pick. Uh, but you will recall on this day a year ago, they traded their 2021 fifth rounder to move up in the fourth round last year to draft Tyler Biotish. That trade was executed with the Philadelphia Eagles. So the fifth round pick that the Cowboys have, pick 179 that we're going to be talking about soon enough and what player that is, that is actually a compensatory pick that the Dallas Cowboys received. Uh, Logan Sparks says, okay, bet I was so confused. Yeah, again, originally it was um, the Cowboys selection, but that pick uh, does, or uh, we're well past it now, but um, is now a Philadelphia Eagles player. So uh, we have a comment here from uh, Caleb. Do we think Dylan Moses is in play? I doubt Leighton Vanderish and Jalen are around after the season. Um, so overhaul, I would bet, um, or I would imagine that. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't think that they're both gone this this a uh, year from now, honestly. Um, so I. I, I would have a hard time believing that. Um, let's take a look at this is ESPN's list of best available players here. Uh, what position are we looking at here? Let's call it a position. What, what, what position are we angling for? Obviously, Dylan Moses is a linebacker. I, to answer that question, as you guys kind of trickle in your answers here, I don't think Dylan Moses is in play, um, who is available. Um, I, just because the Cowboys have already addressed a uh, linebacker twice um, and got a steal in Jabril Cox. And so uh, everybody says safety. All right, let's take a look at these are ESPN's rankings. So if you disagree with them, please um, don't be upset. ESPN's top available safety uh, is Jamar Johnson. Richard LeCount is still available, obviously, as well from Georgia. We've been talking all day long about Hamsar and the Cyril Dean as well. Uh, our Darius Washington still there. So there are three different options. And we are currently at pick. Uh, where are we at now? Uh, currently at uh, uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Currently at 163, the Washington football team's pick is in. Um, so those are three options. So let's go. Let's play this game here as we discuss the best available players available for the Dallas Cowboys. If we are playing the safety game, um, I have a feeling that Jamar Johnson is going to win this poll. But who is your most preferred option for the Dallas Cowboys if they take a safety? Um, is is it Jamar Johnson? Is it Richard LeCount? Is it Hampson and Cyril Dean? Is it Ardarius Washington? What is your answer? Let us know in the comments, whether you're watching on YouTube, whether you're watching on Facebook, whether you're watching on Twitter. We appreciate all of you. We love you all the same. Make sure, by the way, you do go subscribe to the Blog and the Boys YouTube channel. Um, who is your choice? Because 
at this point, um, and I'm not trying to um, to lower the bar of expectation, but at this point, I think it'd be hard to upset us if one of those are the picks. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we've got Caleb says our Darius Washington. Ruben says Jamar Johnson. Uh, Rico is an Ardarius Washington fan. Uh, Kevin Shirley says I like Washington. We them boys uh, says uh, sorry here. We them boys. Washington is my pick. Eric says Jamar Johnson. Yeah, I think I think that I'm certainly leaning Jamar Johnson myself, and I will um, forgive the Cowboys is one way to put it, but I will understand the Cowboys um, addressing different needs is, I guess, the best way we can put this in a football sense again, um, if they are still able to land a safety at this point. Now, to be uh, the, by the way, the Washington football team just took another safety, Derek Forrest from Cincinnati off the board at the 163rd overall pick. The Cowboys are on the clock, 15 picks from now, excuse me, uh, just making certain. Um, all is good. Yeah. Derek Forrest, the pick for, uh, Forrest, excuse me. Yeah. Forrest, uh, for the Washington football team. Um, Oh, I am so sorry, everybody. Uh, so the, the run on safeties has started, um, because the Denver Broncos right behind them have taken Jamar Johnson, Jamar Johnson off the board. Uh, let's go. Um, your one word reaction to, um, to Jamar Johnson heading to the Denver Broncos, 15 picks ahead of the Dallas Cowboys here in the fifth round. Um, let's get a tweet off of blogging the boys. Um, <laughs> this is uh, uh, not ideal. I mean, again, there are still a number of safeties left, um, and you know that's okay. But uh, let's see here. Uh, C pools. One word is snipes. The Cowboys have lost a number of players. Uh, they've already lost one of the Denver Broncos, obviously, and Patrick Sertan, Captain Lansano, uh, with a mad emoji. Uh, Sean's one word is naturally. Yes, this has um, not gone well. Um, yeah, the pick is officially now being announced by the NFL draft account. 164th overall pick is, in fact, Jamar Johnson. Um, RIP to the dream. We've been, you know, that is. Um, uh, Larry, Larry says Denver keeps taking our pick again. Patrick Sertan going. Um, okay. So now that we know Jamar is gone, let's refocus. That was our number one option for a lot of people. Our Darius Washington, a TCU product, obviously local guy. Um, and for what it's worth, remember, um, you know, and by Caleb with a great point that the Broncos are, are playing against Patrick Mahomes twice a season, obviously playing against Josh, uh, Justin Herbert twice a season. So they do have to load up. Um, but, um, you know, whatever, fine. We're moving on from Jamar Johnson. We've, we're, we're, it's, this is, we're Cowboys fans. This is it, right? Like we have to make our peace with losing safeties all the time. Um, so I think the options here are Darius Washington, just based on all your comments all day long, seems to be the favorite. Dallas Martin says, um, are Darius Washington. Lester Walters uh, says, how good is Washington? Let's pull up Dane Brugler's draft guide. Our Darius Washington is Dane Brugler's eighth ranked safety. He has him graded as a fourth round pick. We currently sit here in the fifth round. The only safeties that he has ahead of him are Richie Grant, Trayvon Morig, who's now gone, obviously, and has been gone for about 20, well, not 24 hours, but um, J Javon Holland. But Dane Brugler's fourth ranked safety is still on the board in Hamsa Nasiruddin. Uh, Jamar Johnson is his sixth ranked safety, Ardarius number eight. Uh, so maybe you prefer um, Nasiruddin if that is the case. Um, this is tough. And this is, you know, the run on safeties clearly was on its way there at the end of the fourth round. Let's put the, um, the, the draft class up for the Cowboys again now. Um, it was obvious, right? Like, and we talked about this when the Cowboys were getting ready to be on the clock at 138 overall before we welcomed in Kevin KT Turner. In case you missed it, in case you joined us late, in case you're watching this after the fact, uh, we have live streams and videos up for every single round that we're breaking down and discussing with guests. Uh, the fourth round picks for the Cowboys, Jabril Cox and Josh Ball, we spoke about with Bobby Belt and KT Turner. So you can go back and rewatch that if you want. Um, but um, we talked about how the safety run was going to start in, you know, at the end of round four and into round five. And we're seeing that Washington and Denver taking back to back safeties. Um, and so that is unideal. Um, there are still options left for the Cowboys, but we are still at the 165th, sixth overall pick um, as, uh, as things ultimately square. Um, Marvin Wilson, I believe is still on the board. If you want to go that direction. I mean, at this point, you know, it's not like the Cowboys really care about safety. Uh, they never have, uh, or haven't at least for a long time. 
I'm just making certain that um, okay, uh, the Colts' pick is in. Um, the Col- the Indianapolis Colts are taking Sean Davis, another safety off the board. Uh, so now we are in a situation we have seen back to back to back safeties go. Um, this is not ideal, um, obviously, um, for the Cowboys as the run has started clearly. Um, there are still some left. Um, Lester says, do you, uh, do we as Cowboys fans think we will get Washington? Okay. Let's, let's answer this question. All right. Do you, <laughs> um, I, I just want y- yes or no. Yes or no. Do you think our Darius Washington will be on the board? when the Dallas Cowboys are up as uh, the NFL network broadcast has Sean Davis to pick by the Indianapolis Colts. We have now seen three safeties go. All right. Three safeties go. A lot of you are saying trade up. Um, uh, we've got Sean noting that, you know, no way all these guys make the team trade up. The Cowboys have now chosen seven football players already. Um, they still have four draft picks left. A lot of you do believe that our Darius Washington is going to make it to the 179th overall pick. Uh, but again, with, with three safeties going, I have a hard time believing that it is going to be this like locked and loaded certainty. I know nobody's saying like it's, it's a hundred percent, um, you know, of a situation, but the Cowboys need to, it, let's, let's, let's reframe this conversation because whoever it is, this has to be the safety pick. Um, if, if, if the Cowboys really want a safety, if they truly want a safety that can be a legitimate contributor to their team, now is the time, right? Like that's, that's what the, they have to be realizing, right? That this is the run is happening. And so you have to ultimately come away with a safety. Now you, you cannot wait anymore. Uh, the Carolina Panthers have taken a cornerback, Keith Taylor, um so the carolina panthers pick is in corner out of washington we still have vegas minnesota cleveland los angeles baltimore san francisco green bay buffalo the jets tampa bay new england and green bay to go uh let's captain lansano says yeah dallas needs to trade up no way do they make 12 picks and they all make the team 11 picks to the captain but ultimately this is i mean okay if you've got your guy and maybe your guy was um you know jamar johnson but if you've got your guy now is the time i mean we saw the cowboys trade up in the fourth round last year um we've seen them trade up in the sixth round before four years ago to go up and get xavier woods another safety now is the time as juan says trade up now for washington or necessarily dean i agree if if it may maybe they really believe um that that one of them is going to be there um no 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 all's good all's good um just making sure everything is really great um man uh pff tweeting tweeting about jamar johnson salt in the wounds um but okay um look and we've got a question from gerard is there a cornerback that can transition to free safety um i why are we asking i mean i'm not talking to you gerard but like why is this the question just draft a safety right like at this point uh dave hellman uh, DallasCowboys.com tweeting, uh, the safety dance is done once again. We've been hoodwinked and bamboozled for another year. I will now be retreating to lick my wounds and swear off coveting a safety. I will emerge in January ready to be hurt once more. This is the thing. We have this conversation every year. Are the Dallas Cowboys going to finally you know, invest in a safety? Um, obviously, a lot of you have answered about Reggie Robinson potentially kicking out to safety, but why? I mean, like, and they already burned a year of Reggie Robinson's career with them, kind of, you know, playing around with that. Let Reggie Robinson play a position um, and, and ultimately just decide on who you want. There are still guys, and yes, Safeties are starting to fly. We saw three in a row go with to Washington, Denver, and I've already forgotten the third one. Uh, but um, get your safety. Quit screwing around. Go and get your safety so that you don't end up with nothing. You can still walk away with great value. Either with Hamza Nasildin is the best value on the board, but consensus board. You could go our Darius Washington. Outside of that, um, outside of that, it's not great. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not great value. Um, we've got uh, C Pool fifteen says Dan Quinn thinks he's set after bringing both his guys over from Atlanta. He's not going to draft a safety. The Cowboys did sign both Demonte KZ and Keanu Neal. Uh, let's see here. Uh, um, uh, Jabril Cox just had a tweet, you know, celebrating being a Cowboy. Awesome for him. Um, uh, no, that's just Carolina's tweet. Just making sure this this is it's going to start to fly. It's going to start to go really fast. Uh, let's take a look at what the Cowboys have at safety because 
I, I mean, I, I don't know. Let's, let's look at him. <sighs> How do you feel? What's your one word reaction? Look, I, we'll go emojis. Um, and you can't use the vomiting emoji. That's the challenge. What is, uh, by the way, Marlon Mayfield says, is there a safety that can also be an emergency kicker? Love you, Jeff Heath. Um, but how does this list make you feel? Because this is what the Cowboys are working with at safety. Dr. Drew um, with the yikes emoji. Um, yeah, I mean, th this isn't going to cut it, right? Like, it's it's not. And so um, uh, we've got, you know, some more aggressive emojis at this point. Sean's got the clown emoji. Um, I mean, you can kind of rely on Donovan Wilson, right? Like, do we do we all agree that Donovan Wilson is the best safety on the Dallas Cowboys? And I say this as a fighting Texas Aggie. That idea is not sound. You, I mean, you you cannot go in to 2021. And let's be clear here that whoever you draft here, and I don't want to already, you know, knock off you know, or knock down this pick if it is a safety, which I mean, we've been we've been, you know, fooled a lot here. But um even if you draft a safety right now, your your safety room is still not completely sound, right? But at least you have a project. At least you have potential. At least you have something to work with. At least you have some level of optimism. At least you have something to inspire all of us as Cowboys fans. Um, you you have to do like you you cannot go into this year, and we don't have Keanu Neal on this list to be clear. Um, so maybe he's kind of half on this list. Um, but I mean, I, I mean, I just. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know how the Cowboys can really, really fear, uh, really feel that this is something worth being fine. Um, now, Keanu Neal, again, as mentioned, um, is listed by the Cowboys specifically as a linebacker. Um, but does offer an option at safety. And and I guess maybe you want to, so if you want to like pseudo include Keanu Neal and Reggie Robinson on this list, because they are, I guess, technical options as uh, my direct TV wants to fall asleep. Don't we're in the middle of this. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings taking Zach Davins in the central Missouri tight end. Um, I don't know. Um, let's see. I can't say this name. Uh, so apologies, but comment here. I really thought we were going to get Trayvon Millward. Um, Wilson is good, but we need a safety. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's tough. Uh, a lot of you agreeing with uh, with Jim here. Parker and Thompson have to be replaced. Darian Thompson has had moments, um, but yeah, like you can't rely on Moses. And by the way, NFL Network has a, a the last ten picks up. There were three safeties in a row. These are fine players um, if they are depth. Even Jim, though, they are horrible depth pieces. That's that's what this is. Like your your plan at safety right now isn't really a plan. It's if things go great, you might have. A, a stable environment at the safety position. But right now you don't have a lot to be confident in. And so that's why I, let's, let's play this game. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't noticed, I love playing games here and I love all of you. So I appreciate all of your comments. What pick, and we'll ask for a player here uh, as I search for an answer myself, what pick would make you feel okay with the Cowboys not taking a safety here? Because we are about 10 picks away from the Cowboys making their fifth round selection. So what pick of available NFL players or soon to be NFL players at the moment would make you feel would, would make you say, you know what? I'm OK with that because um, I understand they took player X. So what what non safety would make you say, you know what? I understand. That's fine. I think an acceptable answer here is Marvin Wilson, the defensive tackle. Um, that's. I mean, just kind of scanning what's available here. Uh, we've got uh, <laughs> uh, Sean says Sam Ellinger. I'm 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 hoping that that's a joke. Um, I mean, I have a hard time myself getting past. Um, maybe, maybe Dylan Moses. Maybe that's another potential. Um, maybe Dylan Moses is an answer. Um, just making certain I didn't miss something over here. Oh, we've got another safety off the board. Uh, let's see here. Let's go. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this check. In, uh, blah blah blah. Where are we at? Another safety has gone to, I believe, the Cleveland Browns. Um, getting this up here. Uh, yes, Richard LeCount has now gone 
to the Cleveland Browns. So goodness gracious, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine picks left for the Dallas Cowboys. And in the last, yeah, like kind of 12 picks, it looks like just doing, just guessing, we have seen uh, Jamar Johnson, Sean Davis go. Um, goodness gracious, Derek Forrest has gone. The three in a row, Derek Forrest went. Then uh, I've lost Derek Forrest, Jamar Johnson, Sean Davis went back to back to back to Washington, Denver, and Indianapolis. And Richard just went to the Cleveland Browns. So another safety off the board, as Captain Lanzano says, our pet's heads are falling off. Lots of you upset that he is now off the board. This was predictable. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I'm not trying to say, oh, we were right. But you know what? You were right. That's who was right. You right now, wherever you're watching, you were right. Turn to the person next to you and say, I was right. Because you were right. You said it. In the fourth round, you said it at pick 138 overall. You said that the run on safeties was about to start. You were right. You called it. I got to give you props, all right? Because it was predictable. It was super predictable. And all the options were there. The Cowboys could have had their pick of all of the second tiers worth of safeties that might be a bit of a stretch, but you get the point. I mean, we have now seen a number of safeties go and we still could see a lot of safeties. go. Maybe not a lot, but we could see a couple more go before the Cowboys ultimately pick at 179 overall. We are now at pick 170. I believe the Houston Texans have traded up to this pick. Um, um, let's see here. I, yeah, I mean, this is... Um, this is tough. Uh, Watsamata says, uh, Nasir Dean projects as a strong safety linebacker hybrid. Quinn seems to like those guys. Watsamata trying to get us all excited just to be let down. Um, I agree with Logan Sparks. Shouldn't have gone tackle at 138. You can certainly um, discuss the selection at 138 in a number of different ways uh, being incorrect. Uh, Raul says Nasir Dean is the move. Is that where we are as a society here? That's what we are. We're a community. Um, that's Is that how we feel? Do we feel like that this is the move at this point to take Nasir Dean? Are Darius Washington still on the board as well? Uh, if we want to see the Cowboys, if, if they want to take a safety, like we said, at the end of round four, but now like really, really, really screaming it out. Our Darius Washington, just double checking, still is available. You have to do it now. If the Cowboys are going to walk away with a safety at, at any point in this draft, I mean, this draft is only, you know, there's a couple hours left. It has to happen right now. This is the pick. This is the moment. This, this is what you've been waiting for, Dan Quinn. This is what you've been waiting for, Mike McCarthy. You have to take your safety project now. Um, Let's get a tweet up by Blogging the Boys. Do we really think uh, the safety? Actually, let's go the safety. Let's do this. Um, let's tweet at the Dallas Cowboys. Why can't we ever have a safety? Sad emoji. I'm sad. I'm super sad. You know what? This just feels like everybody else gets a safety. Everyone except us. Um, all right. Um, uh, let's check in, check in, check in. Now, this is Cameron Sample pick. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, uh, no, no, no. Um, no, nothing yet. Um, man, I just, uh, the Houston Texans have taken Garrett Wallow, the linebacker, uh, out of TCU. Hey, it would be cool if another Texas team took another TCU player in a moment. Uh, Raul Duke says feels bad, man. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Sean says the Raiders have drafted seven safeties already. I feel like. Um, yeah, look, Kevin says, are Darius Washington still on the board because of his size? Let's take a look. Uh, again, let me get this up here. Uh, the great Dane Brugler's draft guide, the beast. If you haven't gotten it yet, for whatever reason, go get it. Are Darius Washington, um, shorter than most would like in a safety. And it's a very, very, very important thing for the Dallas Cowboys to have the proper size. Um, who cares at this point? Just do it. Uh, we've got a question. Do the Cowboys have two fifth round picks? No, the Cowboys only have one fifth round selection. So you can see this is what the Cowboys are working with. Um, we've got a comment from Jim says the Raiders will release a safety better than what we currently have. That's pretty easy to forecast, honestly. Um, that's uh, man. I it's it's tough to be optimistic right now with all the safeties that are going off the board. Uh, but Marvin Wilson is, uh, we've got a tweet from Cole Patterson who is going to join us, uh, as soon as this pick is in, uh, Marvin Wilson, Dylan Moses and Ardarius Washington still being available is wild. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens pick is in, they have taken, uh, Dalen Hayes, the edge rusher out of Notre Dame. So at least one non-safety Logan Sparks says, could we trade up? I don't think the Cowboys are trading up at this point. I mean, 
who are you worried about? You know, like everybody else has a safety now. You're the only one missing out. So, I mean, <laughs> like my worry, honestly, at this point is that the Cowboys are going to pass on both of these prospects. I'm more worried about that than I am somebody else taking one of them. Now, that being said, if somebody jumps up with the Cowboys in the next, you know, what is it, like six picks, six, seven picks, um, and takes a safety, we're all going to panic, uh, rightfully so. But, I mean, man, Logan says, but because I, I don't think we'll get a safety if we don't trade up. Um, C. Poole says, what about a true, uh, excuse me, well, Drace is not enough to trade up, I agree, but C. Poole says, what about a true edge rusher? Um, I'm not, and I was already upset that the Cowboys took an edge rusher at 84, and um, while I mean, he's a fine player, Chauncey Goldston. I just, you know, it's not like if the, if the Cowboys draft two edge rushers before they draft a safety, um, it would be really, 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 really frustrating. Sean says a redo on Goldston, right? And ball would be lovely. Yeah. Um, three of the last four Cowboys draft picks have not, uh, been great for different reasons. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is uh let's go uh we, uh we got a comment again i can't read this name my apologies we're just gonna go with dab dab says steven has alluded to our safety problem jokingly i do wonder if who they want comes off the board or they just neglect the position yeah i mean like if you haven't seen this steven jones has um legitimately trolled people um and trolled cowboys fans uh when it comes to the safety position and the idea of landing one and that's not like a joke that's not you know an unfortunate joke he's just having fun at this point um, the Cowboys know that they aren't spending high picks on safeties. And I mean, even this pick that we're begging them to use is the 179th overall pick. The 49ers pick is in, by the way, um, just waiting to see who it is. But I mean, th they they clearly don't have um, a, a, a problem. I mean, with with what's going on. Kaplan Sano says Stephen Jones is planning to suit up uh, at safety this year. Uh, we've got uh, Watsamata says, just take Trey Smith, the guard out of Tennessee. I mean, I'm not upset about that. The, the only non-safety pick at this point I would like is Marvin Wilson. Um, because, you know, for we look at this draft class. Let's get it up here one more time. The Cowboys have, whether you like the players or not, defensively, we're talking about just their defensive picks, which is a majority to this point, they have addressed all of their positional needs, right? We went into this saying they need linebackers. They've taken two linebackers that we're really excited about in terms of who they are as football players. Um, they've taken two corners. They've now taken two defensive linemen, granted one tackle and one defensive end. They, this is the one defensive position, literally, that they have not addressed. And so... I, you, you can't tell me that if you're the Cowboys that, hey, our goal is to address our defensive needs. We want to make sure we get better at every single spot. Um, you can't tell me that that's your goal and then go your first eight picks and not walk away with a safety when all of these awesome options were on the board. Some of them, you know, they, the Cowboys lost uh, certain players, by the way, uh, the Amor, uh, excuse me, the Amodor Lenoir. Uh, has gone to the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, so another corner off the board. So now the Green Bay Packers are on the clock. We have six picks left before the Dallas Cowboys are on the clock. Um, but yeah, I mean, this this is truly the one spot that's left um, that the Cowboys have yet to address. And there are other players that I think, you know, certainly that we like. Um, we've got AW says, no, we need a real one tech. Yeah, again, this is the Dallas Cowboys. But I mean, and, and that's why like Watson says, I mean, Marvin Wilson would be, I, I, I can make my peace with that. But I mean, I just would not feel great about the safety position. I, I don't feel great about everything the Cowboys have done, but they at least have made adjustments. They at least have found players. They have established resources. They have options, and they have that all across the defense. But how, how can you, if you're the Dallas Cowboys, how can you go into this draft and say, our linebackers were so bad that we had to draft two of them. Our corners were so bad that we had to draft two of them. We needed another defensive tackle. We needed another defensive end, but we're good. We're good at safety. I mean, you can't tell me that the additions of DeMonte KZ and J. Ron Curse and even Keanu Neal, if you want to qualify him that way at safety, are enough. I mean, because all of them, guess what, are on one-year deals. I mean, you you have to establish an option for the future. Um, and so, I don't know. Um, we also 
you know, uh, Connor Livesey, who will join us a little bit later, too, uh, talking about Marlon Tia Pelotu uh, not being drafted. Another option, a defensive tackle. Um, so ultimately here, I think if we're if we're being honest with ourselves, to Daryl Slayton, the Florida defensive tackle going to the Green Bay Packers, according to the television broadcast, which means that the Los Angeles Rams are on the clock. We are five picks away from the Dallas Cowboys being on the clock. Uh, but we're mentioning a lot of names here, right? Like we're even right now, we're starting to like bargain amongst ourselves. Like, well, okay, fine. If the Cowboys don't want to take a safety, they can take this play or whatever. We know that they're about to do something that doesn't appease any of us, right? Like that's, you know, that's, that's ultimately what's about to happen here um next pick next pick next pick we're waiting on the rams selection um it, i mean it's it's tough uh eddie says go get marvin wilson that's fine i mean and and you know what i like the osa odigizua pick more if you land marvin wilson so in that sense fine let's do that like i said that's really for me the only pick that justifies not going safety um but you know uh, this is a great point from Raul Duke. Another pass fail, which last time Raul said this, if you haven't been joining us, and if you haven't, what are you doing? Go subscribe to the Blog and the Boys YouTube channel. While you're at it, subscribe to our podcast network. We put out a show every day. If you did not know that, at Blog and the Boys, we put out a different podcast every single day with different people to make sure that you are caught up on all things America's team, available on Apple devices, Spotify. Go subscribe, leave a rating, write a review, tell us how much you love us. That really does mean a lot to us. But last night at 99 overall, Raul said this that it was a pass-fail pick because at that point, the Cowboys were coming off of the Osa Adigizua pick and the Chauncey Golston pick, and it was a fail. And I feel really badly for Nishan Wright that he is now like the face of this, and we've talked to a lot of people so far throughout the draft weekend, and he is by far everybody's least favorite pick. But this is it. The Cowboys started off today strong with Jabril Cox. They took a very – they took a leap – backwards uh with josh ball at the end of the fourth round so they have an opportunity now to get back on track um uh cj asks is washington still available at safety yes our darius washington is still on the board uh he is one option homson and Cyril is an option the cowboys have multiple options at safety which is ultimately i think i kind of want in the next five selections uh, as we wait here to see who teams are taking um i kind of want one of them to go on if I'm if I'm being honest with you, I've mentioned we're, we're bargaining. Um, the, the 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 logic in my mind is I truly think the Cowboys would have to see their board almost entirely wiped out to go safety. They would have to feel like fine. There's one dude left. Let's just take him. The Rams pick is in. Who is it going to be? Rams don't do this. Uh, nope, nope, no news yet on who the Rams pick is. We're waiting, waiting, waiting. Uh, but uh, let's see here. We've got um, what do we got here? Um, AW says, when we come to realize that we are not one of the better drafting teams, last year's Cowboys draft was awesome. I mean, it really was, especially from a value perspective, but this year's draft is not shaping up to be that, um, in a lot of different ways. Nope. The television broadcast has gone to a commercial. What are the Rams doing? We need to know what are the, the jets are on the clock though. So the Rams pick is definitely in, um, we're getting close enough. We're not right there. Uh, in, to, to sort of calculate predictions, but this does feel like a pick that is going to disappoint us. I, it is a very pass fail situation. Let's get, um, let's look at defensive tackles. We've been talking about Marvin Wilson as an option. Here's what the Cowboys are working with. Obviously, Osa Adigizua, uh, their first pick last night in the third round, but the Cowboys do have Neville Gallimore, a third round pick last year, Justin Hamilton, Tristan Hill, Walter Palmer, and Antoine Woods, who they brought back. So, you know, they're, you know, uh, they're okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. The Rams pick is in. The Rams have taken Ernest Brown, so another edge rusher. That's fine. Um, so we're all good here. What are the New York Jets going to do? Uh, Marlon says we draft well. Why do people keep saying that? I do think it's fair to say that the Cowboys don't draft supremely well. I think people look at first round picks and say like, "Wow, they've drafted all these Pro Bowlers and everything like that." Uh, but the Cowboys. I think what what burns them is the risks they take, right? And they they risk elite, you know, capital, right? Like um, they, you know, we'll see what happens with Randy Gregory, but that was a second round pick. They took him at 60th overall. Um, Jalen Smith, they risked the 34th overall pick on, right? Um, you know, Jordan Lewis has has been a fine player for the Cowboys, but was was them trying to get a bargain in the third round? 
Um, you know, you look at it in, you know, 2018 was kind of a great, uh, not great, but a solid draft kind of rounds one, two, and three. Um, 2019, Tristan Hill, and that, that's that's where I think the, the narrative started that they aren't good at this because they were so locked in and they didn't want to even consider Anthony Rapp or Juan Thornhill. Uh, and last year's draft was obviously really awesome. Uh, but um, as Lester says, really, you know, some are good and some are not. That's ultimately it. Uh, Dr. Drew with a great question. Will the Jets draft a Jamal Adams replacement? Um, that would suck. That would be ironic in a lot of senses, certainly. Um, the New York Jets are on the clock as we wait. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, uh, Caleb is, is a fan of Kelvin Joseph. No, I don't think anybody's upset with Kelvin Joseph, the football player. It's just there are some red flags there that the Dallas Cowboys have kind of said and intimated that they are against. Uh, seeing a tweet, by the way, Aaron Rodgers is at the Kentucky Derby, if anybody cares, because Aaron Rodgers wants you to care about his every waking move, as we learned on fr on Thursday. Excuse me. Uh, I agree with Marlon. We draft okay-ish. Yeah, it's, you know, maybe it's, if it's pass-fail, it's a it's a pass, um, but it's, you know, it's a B, like, generally. But they do draft, like, some really elite football players. Okay, the New York Jets have taken a cornerback. Jason Pinnock uh, is the 175th overall pick. We are getting closer and closer and closer to the 179th overall selection. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, no, we'll wait. We'll wait one more pick before we start getting predictions in. Uh, these are three picks that are going to be uh, ones we have to hold our breath on. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, New England Patriots, and Green Bay Packers all up before the Dallas Cowboys pick. So we've established that there. Logan Sparks says, I'm just excited as hell. Or I'm just, I, excuse me, I'm just excited. For, hella, hella, Logan says, for Parsons. I agree. Um yeah, I mean, the, the best picks as, as we prep for pick 179 overall are clearly Micah Parsons, best football player in the, in the class, obviously, um, certainly best athlete with regards to the position that he plays. Um, Kelvin Joseph, a promising cornerback, certainly. And if if the Cowboys feel confident in, in the, the flags, the red flags associated with Micah and Kelvin, then fine. They got some really good football players in Jabril Cox. And we, we said this earlier, but if you if the Cowboys get two or even three d defensive players that are reliable starters out of this class, then that's really all you can expect. I mean, it, it's it, there is never a world where you know, even if you only have like seven picks, where you're you're dealing with great players through in and throughout. Um, the Jets pick is in, as mentioned. Waiting to see what the Buccaneers, Patriots, and Packers do before the Cowboys go. Um, let's see here. Um, Oh, Peter says, I feel like they will co go totally left field and select wide receiver. Um, Dre says, what are Kelvin's red flags? He was effectively kicked out of the LSU football program where he had to transfer to Kentucky, didn't finish there. Um, so just some concerns as to what would happen there. Um, again, different, different, like red flags aren't all the same, uh, but clearly a situation that led to LSU wanting to move on. Um, and that's not ideal. And, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, if you want to take a chance on that player, that's fine, but you did it with the 44th overall pick. That's those are those are ideal starters for you, and you ultimately um, you ultimately can't you know gamble the 44th overall pick again. Kicked out of LSU, left Kentucky early. Phenomenal athlete, but you know why did that happen? Is the big question. Um, you know it is what it is. But so um, no, we don't have uh, the Buccaneers pick is in. Uh, so now the there are two picks left before the Dallas Cowboys are on the clock, waiting to find out what it is. If you see what the Buccaneers do, please let us know. Uh, we've got a lot of people who want to see Trey Smith, the guard out of Tennessee. That would be okay. Um, wouldn't be great, but uh, that would be okay. Um, we, we I think we've squared. This is what it sounds like um, for for the group, if you'll allow me to speak on behalf of all of us here. I love you all equally, of course. Uh, Christopher tells us that Tampa Bay took lineback I, I took a linebacker. I'm waiting to find confirmation myself, but it does seem uh, – yeah, the NFL Network's telling us. I don't know if you guys have heard this before, but the Buccaneers are returning all 22 starters from the Super Bowl. Never heard that ever once before, so totally new information. Thank you very much, NFL Network. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, it seems like you all are correct. I don't see anything on Twitter yet, which just means you guys are better than me. Uh, but, uh, but the Buccaneers take a linebacker. Great. So we now have two picks left, uh, before the Dallas Cowboys, uh, select with the 179th overall selection, the new England Patriots and green Bay Packers are up before them. And so, like I said, we have, Oh, by the way, a moment. Oh, uh, the new England Patriots have selected Cameron McGrone 
So another linebacker gone. So Cameron McGrone to the New England Patriots. Yeah, KJ Britt went to the Buccaneers. The broadcast now has it. And Cameron McGrone to the New England Patriots right after. So back-to-back -back linebackers taken, uh, which means that even if you think that the Packers uh, snipe the Cowboys and take one of the safety prospects, because we've been talking here for a while now, Hams and Cyrildine and Adari Ardarius Washington are the two options that we like, at least here in our group chat. Um, one of them will be there, right? Like that's the, that's the math of it all is that there are two options. There's only one pick before the Cowboys select. Um, so now is the time. Now is the time. Get your predictions in. Uh, factor in what you want with how you know the Dallas Cowboys. What is pick 179 overall going to be? I've been wrong the last couple of times. We were all kind of right on Jabril Cox, I suppose, when this day started. Uh, Sipo says we're going to be very disappointed. I can feel it. I'm going to say Hamsa Nasirldin because or actually I'll say Ardarius Washington. I'll say the Cowboys are in on him. The TCU connection is obvious. Kaplan Sano agrees with me. I think that's the pick. I do feel like they feel pressure um, to walk away with a safety at this point because they have been focusing on needs. Uh, let's see here. We've got uh, a lot of people think Marvin Wilson is the pick. So we've got some divided opinions here. Uh, as soon as the Cowboys pick is in, we will have Cole Patterson on from talking the draft to discuss it with us. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting to see uh, the, the broadcast is just uh, have, flashing a graphic that the Patriots pick is in, but the Packers are truly on the clock. We're waiting to see what they do. Um, still nothing. Still nothing here um, going on with the Green Bay Packers. If anybody sees it, uh, Damon Rojo says Marvin Wilson with a lot of exclamation points. Um, I, I mean, you know, hey, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm OK with that. Uh, still waiting to see what the Packers are doing. The Packers are always ruining our lives. Um, let's come on Twitter. Um, our Darius Washington is an option for the Cowboys. Um, come on Packers. Give us your pick. Give us your pick. Um, Brandon Baxter, just nice and calm. Hope it's Washington. I can get on board with uh, the, the confidence here. And while Hamson is in is consensus higher rated. If the Cowboys draft a safety that they like, that's what matters here, right? Just, just we're, we're, we have reached that point of desperation. We're just give us a safety prospect at this point, waiting still on, on Twitter to find out if anybody sees it, what the green Bay Packers are doing, please let us know. Um, I have not seen it yet myself waiting, 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 um, waiting, waiting, waiting. Let's go. Um, Ardarius Washington, Marvin Wilson, Hamson is still These are all options. The Green Bay Packers, nope, still don't know what the Green Bay Packers are. Uh, anybody have a, nope, reading all our comments. Uh, Brandon Harris, think, I think, think, is saying the Cowboys are going to draft another offensive lineman. Um, Michael Scarn says they'll probably end up drafting a point guard instead of Washington. Hey, you know, Luca could use some help, you know, running the point. Um, here we go. No, where are you at, Packers? We're waiting or waiting on, on, on finding out uh, the Packers selection uh, is being made by Leroy Butler on the broadcast. Um, so where, what are you, what are the Green Bay Packers doing? What is going on? Twitter is so far behind. Uh, the Packers taking Shamarjin Charles, another corner. The Dallas Cowboys are on the clock. <sighs> okay. There's two safety options. There are two safety options. I'm going to say it one more time. There are two safety options. There is a defensive tackle option. There are, there's also a guard. If the Cowboys want to go guard. I honestly think, correct me if, if you disagree, that there are like five players who the Cowboys could take. Uh, according to our friend Kevin K.T. Turner, who was on with us, we have something to discuss, and it is not what we have been discussing. We're going to go off of Kevin's word. K.T. is, of course, the GOAT. The Dallas Cowboys pick is in. According to Kevin K.T. Turner, who joined us to discuss uh, the Cowboys' second, fourth-round selection in the draft, the Dallas Cowboys with the 179th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft have taken San uh, Stan Stan Stanford wide receiver Semi Fajoko, uh, and K.T. is very pumped. Uh, he called it an excellent pick in his tweet. So the Dallas Cowboys have added a wide receiver. The future of the position is certainly in question. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen with Cedric Wilson beyond this current season. The Cowboys drafted uh, six defensive players the first time they spent their first six uh, picks in an NFL draft on uh, the defensive side of the ball. They went offense at 138. They have gone offense again at 179. I'm going to get Cole Patterson in with us here. Uh, let's get him the message. Cole is uh, where you at, Cole, looking for the DM with Cole. 
looking, looking, looking. Uh, goodness gracious. Here we go. Find it, find it, find it. We can send it, send it, send it. Okay, your thoughts, your initial reactions on the Dallas Cowboys getting a new wide receiver, Semi Fajoko from Stanford. Um, okay, let's go here. Your thoughts, uh, letting Cole know, by the way, that this has been sent to him. Uh, sent. All right, so Cole, get over here. Um, how do you feel? Um, how do you feel? This is this is a good pick. Um, honestly, this is a good pick. He's 6'4, 222 pounds. Um, this is a good pick. However, um, see, okay. So we've got a question here. Is this not a reach? Um, I don't think it's a reach, but, um, it's not, I, uh, it's, it's not a direct need at the moment. Um, which I guess kind of makes it a reach. Um, but as Mar Marlon says, I'm okay with this. Um, so I, I'm, I'm indifferent, I suppose. This is not the best utilization of a pick, but this is a fifth round pick, to be clear. And may maybe we've been talking something. The Cowboys pick again in 13 picks. So it's not like they're, you know, going away or they have to wait a long time. Uh, but I mean, this is okay. We've got a red zone threat, as Yetter knows. Um, you know, uh, Caleb says, does this mean goodbye Gallup? Okay, we're getting really, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, far out here. Um, just catching up here on stuff. Uh, a 4-4-3-40 four, four, uh, for Simi Fajoko. Um, actually, one second. Give me, uh, my bad, my bad. We're, we're working through a lot of things here. Um, the Dallas Cowboys have a decision to make in the, in the coming off season after 2021, uh, whether they want to move on from um, Michael Gallup or Amari Cooper, um, because they can get out of Amari Cooper's deal and only take $7 million against the salary cap. And if they want to do that, they obviously would theoretically pay Michael Gallup and keep him around. So I don't know that this means goodbye uh, Michael Gallup, but I do agree with Watsamata that this probably does mean goodbye to Noah Brown. Noah Brown has had a hive around the Dallas Cowboys for a long time. And so this is this is a great pick um in in the context of what a fifth round pick is. It's not what we wanted. Uh but again the Cowboys will be on the clock in 13 picks and Semi Fajoko is a 6-4 player who runs a 4-4-3. The Dallas Cowboys have said they wanted to add speed um, I agree with CJ. It's the fifth round. This was, you know, and, and I, this Marlon has, I think the best point, we wouldn't be complaining if they would have gotten a safety earlier. Uh, Talonwa Hufanga, the USC safety is now gone. The very next pick to the San Francisco 49ers. So, um, the, I mean, the Cowboys might be playing with fire here. Um, they, they might value Fahoko more than they do either safety. And so if that's the case, I mean, if they're not going to care about safety, I mean, we can't force them to. Um, but this is, this is an okay decision. I think, I don't think that we should be supremely upset by this. I'm still making sure I'm not missing anything by the way. Um, but this is okay. We're waiting on Cole Patterson to join us. Uh, let's see here. Looking for, um, looking at comments and be but okay. To get Marlon's comment back up here, this is the problem. Had the Cowboys drafted a safety already, nobody would be upset. Uh, the Kansas city chiefs pick is in at 181, but they still might get it. Uh, we still might, we still might walk away with a safety soon enough here at the top of the sixth round. Uh, Cole, where are you at? Let's get in here. Um, David says, uh, if you look back at the Cowboys history of the draft of the last seven years, they haven't drafted a safety to the seventh round. I agree. Um, and there are still a number of defensive players here, uh, that are going to be available in the sixth round seemingly, um, that, that I think, you know, is, it's worth being excited about. We did a, um, if you, um, if you follow us at blog and the boys, and if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Go subscribe to our YouTube channel. We did a round table ahead of the draft last week. Uh, Bobby belt, who was on with us, uh, earlier in the fourth round tonight or today, uh, he compared Simi Fahoko to DK Metcalf. He said that Simi was kind of DK Metcalf light. So the Cowboys just got this big, monstrous, physical wide receiver, kind of what Noah Brown has, has really sort of, we all thought would wind up being, um, that runs a 4-4-3. Cornell Powell, the Clemson wideout, just went to the Kansas City Chiefs. So I'm okay with this. Like, this is, you know, th if you're going to throw darts, that's what today is about. This is a fine dart to throw. I'm, I'm really okay with this. Um, let's go with your grades, your grades for the current pick for the Dallas Cowboys. All of that considered, Simi Fajoko, the newest wide receiver from Stanford for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, let's let's get the um, the Cowboys ultimate um, – ultimate. let's get the Cowboys um, 
uh, depth chart here at wide receiver because we all recognize what the Cowboys have at wide out. But Noah Brown, again, probably gone. Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, obviously. Stephen Guidry, you know, whatever. Cole Patterson's about to join us. CeeDee Lamb is obviously awesome. Aaron Park and Malik Turner, Cedric Wilson. Outside of the top three, Cedric Wilson is the only one to kind of write home about, and the Cowboys now have something for the future. Cole Patterson, give us your thoughts on the newest wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, um, he's a, he's a uh, you know a big guy out of Stanford and former uh, top recruit. Um, he's a little bit of an older guy. He, I believe he served a mission before, um, he, uh, like a more mission before he um, went to Stanford and all that. Played three seasons at Stanford and was a big time player there. Um, but he was a uh, all conference performer uh, at Stanford. He was first team all conference this past season. I mean, he's a really good athlete. Um, if you follow, you know, Math Bomb on Twitter, he does a good job of, you know, showing their athletic testing scores and all of that on a scale of 1 to 10. And um, he, he got a 9.17 out of 10. Um, so you're getting a really good player, really good athlete. And kind of what you're talking about, they need another wide receiver in, on the depth chart. I think, I think they got that here with this pick in the fifth round. Do you think this does spell the end of Noah Brown for the Dallas Cowboys? I think it definitely could. It certainly puts him and Cedric Wilson at least in some kind of jeopardy, you know. Um, obviously, um, you don't know how much longer they're going to be on the roster anyways. The fact they took one um, right here kind of shows you that they're at least considering it. Um, obviously, day three picks are never guarantees to make the roster. But, um, yeah, I, th I would say um, it should be an interesting camp battle with those three guys, see who comes out on top. At least so give some more competition. Um Cole, as you know, every year at Blogging the Boys, uh, Cole does a great job now at A to Z Sports Dallas. We miss him every day, but you get to hear him on uh, on the Talking the Draft podcast every week. Mm -hmm. uh, Talking the Star is the name of it during the season. Cole, as you know, mm -hmm. um, we talk about pet cats all the time, every training camp mm -hmm. season. Everybody's into pet cats. Simi feels like an ideal pet cat for people. Yeah. Like th this is because people love wide receivers mm. as their pet cats <laughs> for and, sure um and this this kind of has the mold of that um again big time dude this again this is a this is a true dart in my mind mm -hmm. um and and so i'm happy with this i certainly wish the cowboys would have drafted a safety but this yeah. is this is okay mm -hmm. yeah i mean i agree people love wide receivers so that will be a popular pet cat choice and he's a really good athlete i think he's not a guy that's you know, slow, slow athlete. He, he has a uh, good vertical. He tests really well, as, as we mentioned. I think he is a good choice to, uh, you know, kind of pick as your pet cat. Um, like I said, he was first team all pack 12. He was, Dane, he was just outside of Dane Brugler's top 100. Um, he's, he was at 108, actually. He's 6'4", 222 pounds. Um, according to Dane Brugler in, in his draft guide, actually, 77% of his catches resulted in a first down or a touchdown. I mean, it really doesn't get much better than that right there. So, I mean, yeah, to get that kind of value here in the fifth round, a comp pick at that um, at the very end. Um, like you said, you're kind of throwing darts here. You're not really betting on all these players you draft on the third day of the draft to make an immediate impact. Obviously, we all have high hopes for Jabril Cox. Um, he's another guy that could have gotten much earlier um, same as Simi. I mean, Simi was, like I said, just outside of Dane Brewer's top 100. Um, if you're listening to their broadcast at 105.3, the fan, uh, I believe Dane said that he would have probably taken him, you know, late day day two. Um, so you're kind, of, you're kind of getting that kind of prospect. And, yeah, um, it certainly puts some – at least makes an interesting camp battle with him, Cedric Wilson and Noah Brown, um, kind of rounding out that wide receiver unit, you know, Michael Gallup enters free agent next year so they have another body just in case i mean obviously you're not expecting him to earn a starting role or anything like that but i think he has the athletic traits he um like i said all first team pac 12 at stanford he scored nine touchdowns over the last two years had over 500 yards each of the last two seasons so yeah i, I think this is a really good um start throw by the Dallas Cowboys. So looking at Dane Brugler's draft guide, uh, which is obviously, you know, an essential piece this time of year, sure. um, the, the Kansas City Chiefs, I think two picks uh, right after the Cowboys took Fajoko, took Cornell Powell. And Dane okay. has Simi um, in terms of wide receiver rankings at 16. Cornell is at 22. A few hours ago, um, correct me, Cole, was it the Vikings that took Jalen Darden out of North Texas? Um, oh, it's been a, it it's the been a long Buccaneers. Buccaneers. The Buccaneers. He is, yeah. he is 
J, uh, Dane has Jalen as his 29th overall wide receiver. Oh. Uh, we, we've talked a lot uh, in different mock drafts that we've done uh, on the channel about Anthony Schwartz. That's Dane's 21st wide receiver. Uh, so Simi at 16, this, this is kind of Jabril Cox-ish in the sense mm-hmm. of this is great value um, for the Dallas cool. Cowboys. And again, a, a different element than what any of their wide receivers currently offer. Um, they, they don't have that physical back shoulder, climb the ladder guy. You could see Simi Fajoko kind of maybe catching three touchdowns this year in, in those very particular red zone situations. Yeah, uh, I think that's kind of why it's a big or a portion of the fan base really went on Kyle Pitts, even right. if that was a pipe dream. Obviously not comparing the two prospects at all, but the same kind of concept. You know, they wanted a red zone threat. Um, they've obviously hoped that Noah Brown or something like that can step in. You're going to have Blake Jarwin back in the picture next year as well. But, you know, yeah, Simi, I completely agree, um, can be that guy. I'm just looking at his numbers. He did um, kind of measure in just a hair under 6'4", but he's still 6'4", over 222 pounds. He um, ran a 4'4", 40-yard dash at that size. I mean, this is a really good athlete. He can go up and get the football. I don't think how – I mean, he had a 34-and-a-half-inch vertical as well. Um, so, yeah, I do I do agree. He kind of gives you something different than C.D. Lamb, than Amari Cooper, than Michael Gallup. Kind of gives another dimension to this offense. And, again, I don't think anybody's saying that he's going to be in the offensive rookie of the year race or anything right. of that nature. But, um, if you're late on day three, I don't think you can complain about this at all. Um, as, we, as we both said, I mean, this is kind of – you got really good value here. You know, you can complain about um, day two. Maybe they can get the best value all throughout the day, especially in that third round. There's some question marks, but um, with DeBrook Cox and, and with Simi, I think you're getting two guys that um, better players than, than where they were selected at. And I think you have to be happy about that. Yeah. If this is the first skill position, the Cowboys are going to draft um, a, I love that it's not till the fifth round, uh, mm. but B, I mean, this is a nice way to go about it. Again, let's take a look, Cole, at Simi by the numbers. Um, just a big dude. Um, I, <laughs> I think it's a, a big dude that runs a 4 4 3 40 yard dash. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's some that, ground trees. Right. And and the Cowboys have talked so much about wanting to get speed uh, throughout the entirety uh, in the lead up to this draft. And, and I mm-hmm. feel like they've done that without compromising other athletic traits. They didn't compromise that, um, obviously, in their first or second round picks. And so they didn't compromise that here. You could, Like you said, you can make a, an argument about different picks not being great values. But this yeah. this is this this checks a lot of boxes oh, for sure. I mean. I think I don't see how you can complain about this too much either. I mean, I, there's part of me that really wanted Jalen Darden. Maybe they addressed wide receiver in the third round. Wouldn't it have been the worst idea with three picks. But yeah, I mean, it's hard to be too mad at them waiting until this part of the draft to address a skill position. Um, do you think they go with another skill position player with any of their last two picks? Um, do you think they can grab a running back? Do you think they go with wide receiver? Or do you think they go back to the defensive line or just defense in general? So let's take a look um, at the remaining picks here. Uh, mm. Picks 192, 227, 238. I would not be stunned if one of these was a quarterback. Just, I yeah. mean, that's that's the way this is. Maybe 238. Mm. Um, but, we saw that with Benucci last year. Right. Um, if 192, as we creep closer to it, is a safety, then, mm. I mean – then this, then this is like we're we're on cloud nine, you know. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, and that's that's a great because yeah. I I think Simi was more likely to be gone at one ninety two than either yeah. of the safeties, especially after the run, because we saw two wide receivers leave. Or no, we saw Cornell Power leave. Um, mm-hmm. and, and again, this is a trade Travis Kelsey aside that Kansas City's missing, and so yeah. I mean I could certainly have imagined them ultimately going there. So if the Cowboys walk away from one ninety two with a safety, and I know we keep building this doing, into existence, I don't know if Marvin Wilson has gone. Um, in the time that we've been talking, yes. Cole. Um, yeah. But if, if it's any sort of combination of one of those mm-hmm. players and Simi Fajoko, then um, I, I don't know how you aren't, you know, uh, you know, you aren't pleased. Raul Duke, I think it's a great question. And Cole, uh, we appreciate your time. We'll get you out of here in a moment. But <laughs> did, the Cow- did the Cowboys just draft Alshon Jeffrey? That's, that's uh, the mold. I, I think that that's yeah. the mold here. He's built like that, certainly. Um, Austin Jeffries had a great career, so I'm not going to say Simi is going to have anywhere near as good of a career, you know, late round pick. But I mean, he ran a 4 4 3, he tested really well. Now, Sean's not really known for his athletic ability at all. Um, but yeah, probably maybe in the same kind of mold, like as you were just talking about, you know, a red zone threat, a guy that can go up and 
get the football in that area of the football field. Um, if, if you could tell me that the Cowboys just got half of Alshon Jeffrey in the fifth round, I don't think mm-hmm. there would be any complaints at all. Um, but, yeah, I think this is a really good dart throw. Um, they got really good value here, as we mentioned. He was just outside of Dane Brugler's top 100, and you got him with the fifth round comp pick. Um, so, I mean, for all the frustrations that there were about reaches on day two um, in that third round, to be uh, more exact, um, I think they got really good value here, and I think that it's easy to be excited about. And I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I think he's going to be a really popular pet cat camp uh, the closer that we get to, you know, training camp. Yeah, uh, a very, <laughs> very fun pick. This is – oh, Hamsa uh, sure. I'm sorry, Cole. Hamsa Nisseldin just went to the New York Jets. Um, okay, okay. So, so that's one um, safety off the board. Right. Our Darius Washington still there. And That's there the are... dream. I think that's a dream for Cowboys. I don't know if he fits the size, but, I mean, I think if – I think if you told me the Cowboys came away with our Darius Washington – here and with one of their next picks, um, I think I think a lot of Cowboys fans be really happy, but I just don't know how realistic that is. But I mean, some way they do have to take some kind of safety at least for a, a, another body of the position, right? I mean, I mean, it was kind of disappointing not to see them address it at all so far. But there's still some good options out there. Um, Dylan Moses, he's another guy that unless he's talked, unless he's gone since we've been live, um, I don't think he's been selected. So he. Another, I know they drafted two linebackers already, but um, there's some good, there's some quality players still on the board. Um, if the Cowboys want to maybe double up at some positions or take a chance on Darius Washington, Dylan Moses still there, Marvin Wilson still there, Trey Marvin Smith Wilson. still there. Um, so a number of directions the Cowboys can go in. Marlon mm-hmm. says maybe they have. Oh, sorry, where's Marlon? Uh, maybe they have a plan. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Cole, Thank you so much for taking the time sure. to stop by. Yeah, uh, we'll talk to Cole later on. on. Cole will be available as he always is on Wednesday on talking the draft. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Cole, thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the draft, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for having me on. You too. All right, guys. So uh, we want to keep things organized for our audience that comes and rewatches this after the draft. This was our round five live stream. We are going to end this stream in just a moment, and we are going to launch our round six live stream where we try to will our Darius Washington to the Dallas Cowboys. We're going to get the link up here in, in a minute for you. There it is. If you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter, the link for the round six live stream, head over there, get ready, get set, go get your lucky whatever. I don't care what it is. Go get whatever is a lucky thing to you because we're going to make sure that the rest of this draft is awesome. We have a lot more left to go here today on the Blog and the Boys Network. Don't go anywhere. Actually, go to the Round 6 live stream. We'll see you there in just a second. Things are looking up, people. We'll see you in a moment. 